Well, we're now joined by Wildlife TV presenter Nigel Marvin from the Sea Life Centre in Brighton, where they look after okay. fish like Dory. You just know what's going to happen, don't you, Nigel? Everyone's going to see the movie. Everyone's going to think how cute the character of Dory is, because she is, mm. isn't she? And they're going to want a fish like her. Yeah, no, in, in 2003, I mean, Finding Nemo, what an amazing film. I cry every time I see it. I mean, it's a brilliant film. And after it came out, they took a million clownfish from Thailand and the Philippines, a million. And most marine fish are taken from the wild. They use chemicals to pull them out from the coral reef. Um, so it's a real problem. And, and, and to keep a marine tank to get the chemicals right, to get the salt water, the salinity right, is very difficult. So it's not something to be taken lightly if you see these fish and fall in love with them. The animations are brilliant, but it's a shame real animals are harmed because of people seeing the movies. So what would you say then, Nigel, if, if parents are getting pestered by their children uh, for a dory-style fish? Is there a viable alternative that they could get that perhaps would assuage their need to have a fish mm. that's going to be cute and that they can enjoy? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely not against exotic pets. I've got a house full of lizards and snakes at, at, at home, but you've just got to be careful that you, you know, get the ones that aren't taken from the wild. And freshwater fish, there's some brilliant freshwater fish like discus and angelfish, and they've been bred for many generations in captivity. They're not as difficult to keep as a, a blue tang, which is what the, uh, the dory is in the movie, a blue tang or a regal tang. They can grow to be um, 30 centimetres a foot long, so you're really taking on a fish that can grow very big. And there is real concerns that when the movie goes out, they could cause a really big problem in the wild, um, and they have to be taken from the wild. Nearly all of the tropical fish, uh, all of the marine fish taken from the wild die within the first year, so it's not a sustainable thing to do. They can't be bred in captivity. Blue tangs can't be bred in captivity. They're in a group called surgeon fish, so next to their tails they've got little spines, and if they're attacked or you pick them up, they push these spines out, and they're like razor blades, so if you, if you handle them, they can even cause an injury. So, they're really not good pets. Better to watch them in the movie and get a, a goldfish that's been bred for generations in captivity uh, or, or a freshwater fish that's been bred uh, as well. But yeah, taking okay. them from the wild really is a problem. All, all of the snakes and lizards that I have have all been bred in captivity, and I'm always very, very careful to make sure that nothing is wild caught. Nigel, good advice. It, it just answer me one thing. Is it true what people say, like Dory is in the movie, that, that fish have that short memories? Mm. Um, sorry, Kate, I didn't hear that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or not. Do fish really, really have nine-second memories or whatever it is they say? <laughs> I think they've done some tests and goldfish are actually much more intelligent than people think and they have got quite a long memory and, and can remember when they're fed and um, things about their owner. So actually, you know, we shouldn't treat them as uh, creatures that can just be tossed around and not worried about and flushed down the toilet. I mean, they are, um, you know, they, some of them are really quite intelligent. And manta rays, I just did a film diving with manta rays, they're extremely intelligent. They've got the biggest brains of any fish. So fish get a raw deal, really. So, um, you know, we should take more care of them, particularly the ones we love, like yeah. uh, the, the, the blue tang in Finding That's Dory. Okay, and, and the anemone fish, you know, it's lovely. So in, could, should be kept in specialist places like the Sea Life Centre here. Okay, lovely stuff. Nigel, lovely. Nigel, thank you very much for joining us. It looks beautiful behind Nigel. Just see the really sharks does. going backwards and forwards yeah. in the back of shot. Slightly yeah, no, it's, it's, very impressive. It's a great place. Yeah, really wonderful. Is. Thanks very Amazing. much, Nigel. Thank you.